So a young homie asked me <clears throat> if I could help him out with some genetics problems. So I said, yeah. <clears throat> but first, I needed to brush up on my Calico Cat genotypes. So this is the question that he asked me. And I'm going to try to figure out the answer. So here we're going to be discussing some cat genetics. So you have lowercase b, which stands for a recessive allele is going to be black. In this case, black is recessive for cat color. In a lot of other cases, like for human hair, black is dominant. Black eyes is dominant. But for cats, their fur color, black is recessive, so you give it a lowercase b. And the dominant um, allele is uppercase b, um, ginger, or orange color. So the orange um, refers to the dominant ginger. So for females, um, you see, you, all, you only have your X chromosomes. You don't have any Y chromosomes here. You have X, B, X, B stands for ginger. Up X, uppercase B, X, uppercase B stands for ginger. X, B, X, lowercase B stands for, sorry, X, let's go to the third one. X, lowercase B, X, lowercase B stands for black. And X, B, X, lowercase B stands for black and ginger or what's called tortoiseshell. And the reason it's called tortoiseshell is because in this particular circumstance in the females, um, the coat color is co-dominant. That means if a cat has an uppercase B allele and a lowercase B allele, a female cat, then it'll be a tortoiseshell color. It'll be black and ginger. Versus in the humans, in human cases, if the, if this was, uh, um, you know, eye color or hair color, if you had a dominant allele, um, you will mostly get that dominant color. In this case, it would be ginger because B ginger is the ginger is the dominant allele. But in the co in cat coat co color, it's co-dominant. So let's move to the F1 generation. So here in the F1 generation, which means filial one generation, um, what you have is essentially what you have is you have a um, ginger male so the X, B and the Y so the Y indicates the male um, so this is the, the X chromosome on the male and it's ginger color so the Y chromosome has nothing to do with coat color in cats the coat color in cats is only dictated by the X chromosome for the most part. And so on this end, you have X and X, right? So is that a male or a female? That's a female because there's two X, X chromosomes. So you have X, B, and X, lowercase b, both lowercase. Lowercase b, if we remember, lowercase b stands for black because in this case, for coat color, black is recessive. So this is a black female. I should probably indicate that here. This is a ginger male. So a ginger male and a black female come together and mate, and they produce these four offspring, these four babies here. So the first baby, so these babies are male. They're boys because they receive the Y chromosome from the male, and so they turn out to be boys. These receive the X chromosomes from the female and the X chromosome from the ginger male, so they turn out to be girls. In this case, <clears throat> you have a black male because it receives its lowercase b from this female and the y from the male, but the y's essentially have nothing to do with the coat color, and so they become essentially what this is here. And this here is XB, which is black. XB, which is black. In this case here, <clears throat> What you have is two females, XX, XX, they're both females, and the uppercase B stands for ginger, lowercase b stands for black. Uppercase B, ginger is dominant, but in this case, in cat coat color and females, they're co-dominant. So both of these are tortoiseshell females. Now, if we move down to the F2 generation, 
So essentially what you're doing is you're taking um, you're taking this male and that female and you make them mate. It's not necessarily the brother and sister that are mating, but it's, you know, if you come across these two genetics in nature, this is what's going to occur. Um, what you have is your F2 generation. So you have, what, what color is this? And what is this, a male or female? X, B, Y. It's a male. X, B is black, so it's a black male. And then here, you X, y, X, B, X, B. This is a female. B here, B there. It's a tortoise shell female. Because remember, these are co-dominant. These alleles, B and lowercase b, are co-dominant. So in this case, the first one you'll have is X, B, X, B. And you get this result here. You have a tortoise shell female. You go down here, X lowercase b, X lowercase b, combine them, put them together. Lowercase b, there's two of them there. They're both recessive, and there's two of them. You have a black female. Lowercase b is black, there's two of them. It's going to be a black female. You go here, you take this X b and this Y, put them in here, this box. You have X, uppercase b is ginger. Lowercase y doesn't care. It's just you know that it's a male, but it has nothing to do with cat color, coat color. And so it's a ginger male. You go here, take this X lowercase b, take this Y, put it here. Again, the Y has nothing to do with color. X lowercase b, what's X lowercase b? It's black. Black male, ginger male. These are females, tortoiseshell, black female. So I hope that clarifies cat genetics for you guys and have a good day.